six Bolivians are diagnosed with HIV every day. Young people are most at risk as the majority do not use condoms. On a World AIDS Day, event took place all over the country to educate young people about the risk of an unprotected sex. Our correspondent Dimitri O'Donnell reports. Testing for HIV as part of a free public event organized to highlight the risks of unprotected sex. New figures show there are six new cases of HIV diagnosed in Bolivia every 24 hours. Young Bolivians are most at risk because the majority don't use condoms. Youth leaders held public demonstrations showing the correct way to use protection. They should have this information to know how to use condoms correctly because the majority don't use them correctly and they think it is something easy to use. The first case of HIV AIDS was identified in Bolivia in 1984. Today almost 15,000 Bolivians have the virus and while there are more centres to help treat and prevent HIV, doctors admit that there is a delay in getting vital drugs to those who test positive. They also say the high rates of unprotected sex will lead to more new cases. 98% of the HIV positive cases in Bolivia develop the virus because they don't use protection. People aged between 15 and 25 are most at risk and the emphasis at this event is on giving free practical advice and information to those who need it. One of every three young people in this country, under 24, just one in every three uses a condom for the first sexual encounter. Bolivia also has one of the highest rates of underage pregnancies. 246 babies are born every day to women under 20. The risk of contracting HIV for young women is huge. Today we have more young pregnant teenagers. And in addition to this, we have young pregnant women who become infected with HIV and then pass it on to their children. Bolivia is trying to reduce the stigma for those with the virus, offering more support for people who feel marginalized. But the message is clear, they can only help those who come forward for testing and treatment. Dimitri O'Donnell, Telesur, La Paz.